Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pa, the chemistry guru. Now in this video, we want to go through an exercise involving the reactions of alkenes and alcohols. Now let's take a look at this question. Which reaction will give the best yield of 1-chloropropane? Now 1-chloropropane, of course, it is a halogenyl alkane. But if I run through options A, B, C, D, it is actually targeting alkenes and alcohol. Option A, chlorine gas with propane gas in the dark. Option B, propane one all with dilute sodium chloride equals option C, propane one all with PCl5 and option D, propane with dilute HCl equals. So you notice the reactions is actually targeting alkene and alcohol, propane one all. So if we are familiar with the reactions of alkenes and alcohols, then this is a pretty straightforward question. So let us just run through this option. Now option A, Chlorine gas with propane gas in the dark, are we able to get one chloropropane, which is the required product? Now, if I consider propane, which is an alkene, obviously, if I react this with chlorine gas in the dark, then the expected product will be two chlorine being added to my alkene functional group. So I'll end up with one, two dichloropropane. But the question wants one chloropropane. So we only want to have one chlorine on carbon one. So in this case, this reaction is not that suitable. Now, remember this is an electrophilic addition reaction where I add Cl to both carbons of my alkene. So option A is not that a uh, good option. So let us run through, see whether we have a better answer. Now for B, propane one all with dilute sodium chloride equals now, propane one all, it is something like this. OH group, it is on the first carbon. Now, if we run through the reaction of alcohols, we don't really have a reaction involving sodium chloride aqueous. So, option B, actually, there's no reaction. So, therefore, there's no product being formed. So, B definitely is out. Now, how about option C? Now, for option C, propane one all with PCl5. Now, if I have alcohol here, and if I react this with PCl5 and hydrous at room temperature, then a nucleophilic substitution reaction will take place. What happens is the OH group will be substituted with my Cl group. So this is a nucleophilic substitution involving PCl5. And this same conversion, what we can also use is we can use SOCl2, also anhydrous at room temperature. But both reagents, PCl5 or SOCl2, they both serve the same purpose. It is to replace or substitute the OH group with a chloro group. Now remember, this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. And you notice very nicely, this gives us the exact product that we want. It will give me one chloropropane. So option C, in this case, of course, will be the best answer. Now finally, just to run through option D. Now propane with dilute HCl equals. Now if I react alkene with HCl gas, that means pure HCl, then it is possible for me to have addition reaction involving HCl. But in this case, since I'm using dilute equals HCl, then there shouldn't be any reaction involving propene. So in this case, option D is also not the answer. There's no reaction involving alkene with these reagents and conditions. All right, so that was a pretty straightforward exercise. Of course, it requires us to be very familiar with the reactions for our alkene functional group and alcohol functional group. Then we systematically run through which of these reagents and conditions are appropriate for me to handle the conversion that is being required in the question. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. Now this will also be the last video for 2019. And over this year, I think we have about 50 videos that is being uploaded weekly. So I hope that you have found all these videos helpful and useful. So I will be back in 2020 with more weekly video lessons involving A-level chemistry. Until then, happy holidays and see you next year.